Good morning. And today I thought we'd take a look at how to um, do renewal and subscription management. So, and also specifically how to keep the subscription number when it is renewed rather than have the system automatically create a new subscription number for it. So first, um, logged in here um, as a user that can get into subscription management. I've set up a couple subscriptions ahead of time that will need to be renewed. So first, let's take a look at the templates that um, control how the rules can be done. So it's under subscription rules in the setup section. And it's down here under renewal templates. So we'll take a look at this. So we can set up renewal templates. There's a hierarchy for this. You can override these at, in the subscription, but you can set up global rules in case uh, you don't want to deal with it on a subscription by subscription basis. You know, how many days before expiration can the renewal be done? Minimum days, terms. You can also set up um, price adjustments so you can. Um, up, mark up, mark down, create a new price, go get the net, you know, the the old, the newest price list, et cetera. Um, here is where we can um, determine if we want to keep that re the subscription number in the renewal. And so what it's going to do is going to create, add this subscription number, and then create a dash um, because I told it to create a dash here. And then put the next, you know, the, the dash number after that. So that way we can have a way to tie the old and the new together by looking at it on the screen. And then when we get into the renewed subscription, I'll show you where that's, that information is actually inside the subscription. So we have to set up our renewal template. You can do um, groupings and things like that if you want to group multiple subscriptions together by certain criteria when they get renewed. So this is all in the renewal template. So we'll cancel out of this screen and we'll go back into the subscriptions. I've set up a couple save searches here for us to make it easy. We'll take a look at the subscription uh, 37009. And just parenthetically, you can see here um, a renewed subscription with the dash number that I was talking about. So there's two ways to do renewals. We can do it manually subscription by subscription, or we can do a bulk renewal. So I'll go through both real quick. So first on the um, manual, we'll just click into the subscription. And up here under actions, there's a renew button. So for the sake of what we're doing here, this is what I'm gonna go through first. So it's really easy, we click renewal. Um, I want it to renew uh, for a year. And right now I'm not worried much about revenue management. Um, subscriptions can be pushed into revenue management, but for the purposes of this, I won't go into that. And we'll just save and continue. And we'll take a moment. And when the screen comes back, it actually comes back with the new subscription. So here's my 37009-1 again. It comes in in, um, in draft mode. So we'll review this. We'll have to do a couple steps on it. Um, and then we can go ahead and, and validate it. And so we'll go ahead and take a look at um, the pricing on this. My system is being slow today. Okay, so here's my new line. I can go take a look at pricing. One of the things in subscriptions, if you have a one-time fee on the original subscription, it will not bring that one-time fee over. So that's one time, it's on the original subscription, but it's not gonna be on the renewal. We can take a look at the billing summary. It's set up the billing summary. This has a monthly plus it has a usage in here. Um, and it did the uplift of, I think it was five or 10%. So this is all good. Um, and then to see the relationship between subscription, that's what this relationship flag is over here on the left. Um, 
So we can uh, click into that. And it's going to say, what is my um, old subscription number? What are the products that were renewed? Um, so this is a way to go back and forth. And if you actually clicked on this line, it would open up the old, old subscription number. So you can see what it was versus what it is. So we'll cancel out of here. And so if everything looks good on this, we're going to go ahead and um, validate. Let's see. Um, where is it? Well, this is the old subscription. So we'll go into my drafts, open up the new subscription, and we'll go ahead and um, activate this subscription. So it's going to start on um, October 1st. I set these, I backdated these a year so that it would be up for renewal. So it's going to start October 1st. The cool thing about these renewals being done ahead of time is there's no revenue gap for your customers to say, um, as they move from you know, a, an existing subscription to a new one. So we'll go ahead and say I'm close this. This is now active. So that's how you set up a, um, how you do a manual renewal. Here it is on my list. Um, unless you have very few subscriptions, it's probably not a great idea to do manual or maybe you need to do a one-off. It's a great way to do that. So how do I deal with, um, um, do a, a more mass update. So we do that through a scheduled process. So we'll pop into there really quick. When the scheduled process is scheduled a new process and it's called um, automatically renew eligible subscriptions. Okay. Automatically renew eligible. So I'm just going to go to there and it should be able to pull it up. I tabbed out of that field, so it'll do the search. So we're going to automatically do eligible subscriptions. And in here, I can do it by business unit. I won't submit this because I already did it, but it's just here, submit. And then it goes through all your subscriptions and creates all the new ones. So that's how we do an automated um, subscription. So. Again, we walk through um, creating a renewal for subscription. We talked about how to set up um, uh, a subscription number so that you can trace it from the old to the new by looking at them. You can see here the 37001 dash, 37008 dash. So, you know, those are follow ons to the other subscriptions that are there. Hope this is helpful. Have a great day.